How's it going everybody? My name is JC Gaming and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. So on the last time we played we were out hunting some deer. So I mean hopefully this time this mission is more aggressive and we get to do some more pew 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 instead of the... So yeah guys, <laughs> without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, sweet. All right, then, so let's see where we're supposed to go be, huh? All right, so let's go over there. See, I mean, so far, guys, I'm loving the game. I'm loving the detail. I'm loving the story. You know, we're outlaws. Uh, something happened at a boat that caused us to run away. Uh, but not only by the law themselves, but by another gang as well. So, I mean, at this moment, I think we're hunting them down as well. Dutch seems to have some kind of hate toward them, so. Come with you, boys, because... I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around, wait for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole? always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah! All right, so here we go. I don't know what we're going to do, but I mean, I'm pretty excited. They look serious for something to do. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score they're planning. <laughs> I love doing that. So cool. Look at that, dude. <laughs> All right, enough that. Enough about that. Let's just get back into this. Did I get out again? Uh oh. Oh boy, forgot to get out of it. Uh, was it? All right, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I, I really, I think they're trying to invade some kind of village right now. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but I mean, honestly, I just want some action going on in here. Tracks, horses, quite a few of them. So I mean, do you think this game lives up to the ex to expectations or? Who's out here or us and them? They must be this way. And also, if you guys have any advice for me for this game, just let me know in the comment section below. Of course. Listen, 
I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you would hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. Damn. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. All right, so we can see <laughs> that he has done some crazy things. Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. All right, then. We're just going to park here, I guess. Hold up here. God damn it. <laughs> Oops. No, I'm guessing we're gonna get off. Oops. All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two. Hold position here. Let's go. I just like doing that. I don't know why. It's so fun. <laughs> because it gives my videos more of a cinematic kind of feel to it. Movie type, honestly. Than me just playing game. But, I mean, honestly, though. I mean, this game should be a movie itself. Definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. All right, what am I supposed to be looking at? Oh no. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. <laughs> Death, just bitch slap him. <laughs> Seemed to him. Should we go get him? <laughs> Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. All right. Here comes the pew pew. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You two, get up there and keep us covered. You got it, Dutch. I just like this. It's more like realistic. You, you, you feel me? Let's go. It's better than taking out a minigun out of your like back pocket and just bah, fire everywhere. Circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Of course yeah, not. Just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm and wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Right, so again, I guess we're going into a you know a gunfight very soon, which I'm excited for, and I really want to exp like experiment with the the choices Rockstar gives you in the game. You know, like you know how we're basically just like when we give decisions or we want to choose a certain topic. I like that. I really do like that. Like different dialogues and whatnot. 
what your questions, how the questions can affect how the person reacts to you. I like that. Man, this is a long way down, dude. I'm, I'm kind of like not really liking the, like the mountain. It's just so annoying. Like you walk slow and it's like ah. But it's whatever. I mean, it's just the intro. I mean, an intro should just get into like the nice and good stuff, which is currently you know, gonna be available down the road, which is the open world that I'm really looking forward to in any Rockstar game. Oh, watch out! It's a bit steep. I mean, look at that. It's very far down, dude. I'll let him take the lead. So yeah, guys, what are your goals for this game? Like, you're trying to hunt down every animal, or you're trying to, like, just become an outlaw? <laughs> I think I might just do a video on just where I just kill, like, random people, because honestly, that's, like, the fun thing to do in any Rockstar game. It's just fun. <laughs> Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, <laughs> but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. All right, so we're almost there. Let's head for that building in front. And if I also don't commentate as much, it's because, well, I really want you guys to also focus on the game itself. Let me just, then you guys just hear me blabber for like, nonsense for like the whole hour. <laughs> so, I mean, sometimes it's best just to stay quiet at times than just trying to make up some BS. Uh, all right, so we're gonna cook this guy. Come on, follow me. And if I'm like focusing hard on the game, yeah, I'm barely commenting. Cause I'm not, I'm not trying to die so fast. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. I'll take the lead. Okay. I'll go first. Oh man, I hate the reload. Man, my aim is off. My oh, man, we can't take too long reloading this gun. Ooh, slow motion, nice. Man, now my aim is off. Gotta hop off. Just gotta go out there with my gun. <laughs> Follow me, let's go. Follow you where? Right. I don't know how you do the, the, the thing thing from Red Dead Redemption 1. That's over there. Ooh, what a lucky headshot. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. You can basically, and that's what I like. You can loot the bodies. Oof. Uh, while you guys do that, let me just loot a bit, alright? You know, get all, everything I can, you know? Don't worry guys, I'll put you in the action real quick. Our money. Alright, y'all. 
Let's help the boys out. Red eye? Dead eye. Ooh, get owned. I like this, I like this. <laughs> I love this so much. Uh oh. There's too many of them. I don't even know where I am. I don't, I don't even know where I am. You lucky son of a gun. Oh, what? That is so OP. That is too OP. <laughs> But how much is this money worth back then? I'm just gonna try to loot as much as I can here. You know? Alright, I know I shouldn't be wasting time, but... <laughs> Alright guys, I'm just gonna cut you like the... Like the beginning, like the entry thing. Alright, so I think I got enough. Oh, horseman, I think I got enough loot for today. Now, let's get back. What do we got, boys? Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place. Alright. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. Alright, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go! Got some of that. Some cigar. What if I can take any of this? Some, some of it was highlighted. Guess not. Alright. Take some cigar. Take the chewing tobacco. I mean, that looks expensive. I don't know if it's expensive. Think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. <laughs> Come on. Did we get everything? I think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. Let's get out of here. I mean, so I'm guessing now we're gonna go for a train. Can't wait for that. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us. 
hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us. I believe, I know, they will all be back. You all know what to do. What? Oh no. No, what? God! Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find that moron? That's crazy. Fine. My fault. Come on. You're pathetic. You know that? I got sorry about that. Basically one of my uh things went crazy. So I just skipped to the part. What basically happened is we were setting up the detonator for the train tracks, but it seems to have failed. So right now we're just going right into the train. So let's just skip to the juicy part, all right? Real quick. Oh. Go, just go in there. Uh oh. Them off. Yep. <laughs> we have to stop this train. Oh man. Have to get to use that eye. All these bastards must be gardens. Still okay? I think so. Good. Still alive? Dang. Doing that so much. I'm gonna die if I stay up here, aren't I? Dude, what is this? Oh, I thought that was the rest of them. I was like, it's like holy. I legit thought I was gonna die. I was like, I'm dead. Right, let me heal a bit, buddy. Alright, um. Bleachers. Take that real quick. You two alright? Yes, let's get the money and go. 
We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little! Tap him. That's enough! Explain something to Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, don't matter too much to us. But you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. God damn. All right. No, I would have just. Got a death wish. I'd step back, fellas. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. I'm gonna right, go for it. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> That's crazy. And yeah, guys, sorry about that huge cut there. It's just ugh, whatever. At least you guys got to see the good juicy part. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? Parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Come on. That's some good, that's some good money right there. Get in there. Right there. Ah. there. See? That's how it's done. Shit. It's just a pile of papers. Bond? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <sighs> Give me those. Railroad contracts. $100 bill. This is blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Ooh. Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered no, from it's Europe. Like some. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. I think I got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. No, dude, hold on. No, it, must, it must be something else. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's get out of here then. We can't carry any more of this item. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Ah, oh, dude, that's crazy. I, uh, I mean, I don't want to kill them, but... Oh man, you guys are gonna think I'm a dick for doing this. You're definitely gonna think I'm a dick for doing this. Sorry guys. No prisoners. We're gonna be like just assholes at this gate. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. Holy. Oh, should Any we just spare that? Ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on. Move. I mean, do they even recognize you? 
Said quick. All right, cool. All right, yeah, no, I, I didn't want to be a dick. <laughs> I was like, nah, I can't. It's a game I know, but uh, I'm still pure hardened. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna go up through here, man. I just can't stand going through all those trains. I mean, I know I could loot this, but do I really want to loot all this? I mean, dang. Let me loot this guy. What do you got, buddy? Look at that, a silver emblem ring. Dang. These guys ha have to be rich, dude. Let me just loot a little, you know? Let me just, let me just loot a little. Silver clamp buckle, look at that. You can easily sell these things, yeah. Four times over. A miracle tonic. Okay, one more. This was a train ride, right? I don't know what he was, actually. Never mind. Fifty cents. And a silver emblem ring. I'm definitely gonna sell all this stuff when I get back. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Finally get out of the freaking snow. Thank God, dude. <laughs> I hated the snow so much. So you just look around you, dude. Oh my God. Amazing. Oh, crap. Get us out the stream. Gotta keep us moving, but calm. I don't know why that was so funny. I'm so sorry. I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? 
<laughs> I reckon we can handle it. <laughs> All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel. <laughs> I can't stop loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was just funny. Nearly there. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What the? What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. <coughs> we'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes. In it. In these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the Heartland room. To good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly, uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, 
Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. All right, guys, just focus on the environment. It's really good. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. Alright, so right now we're going to a nearby town, which I believe you can buy a lot of things. Health items, guns. So finally we're going to a civilization, which I'm excited about. We're finally going to be able to explore the free world. The combat tracks would you have to turn it the ashes around. So yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I wonder. Just kill random people. I wonder if there's prostitutes too. This should be. Every Rockstar game has prostitutes. Well, almost. So yeah, guys, how you liking the walkthrough so far? Any advice you guys can give me? Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. What is this guy? Oh, I'm here. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Just keep smacking the horses. <laughs> I'm a dickhead. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Wow, what a nice little campsite. You were wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. But now, now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive, kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town, a little way down the track, named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. Can we put you over here? I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly.
All right, guys. So, I mean, this is basically where I'm gonna end the video. Let's just watch this cutscene, or maybe I just spawn in through the campsite. Let's see. If there is a cutscene, I'm not too sure. A couple of weeks later, yeah, there's a cutscene. I'm gonna let you guys watch this before I end this video. Got off the mountain, rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is basically where I'm going to end part two. I hope you guys are loving the walkthroughs so far. Again, I'm sorry for the little cut that I made. It's just that, uh, you know, my like my sound just went like 0%, so I didn't want you guys to just see an empty, an empty sound. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free. To plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, yeah. See you guys in part three. Take it easy. Oh, I don't want to be alone.